All right. Hey, folks, Orange County Gun Owners is dedicated to preserving and restoring Orange County's gun rights. OCGO has developed the infrastructure that focuses on changing the face of gun ownership by getting volunteers involved in local level activisms and reach out. We have made a profound influence and advancement on policies protecting the Second Amendment throughout all of Orange County. And if you live in Orange County and want to help defend and restore the Second Amendment, you need to join OCGunOwners.com slash join. Volunteers that volunteer at a shooting social, you know, maybe at a gun shop, a tabletop, and uh, help more pro-gun local officials get elected. Become a member today, OCG, OCGunOwners.com slash join. OCGunOwners.com slash join. Speaking of which. Speaking of which, we have the uh, uh, none other than the executive director of Orange County Gun Owners. She runs the, the show over there. She's the, the top dog and head janitor and bottle washer and everything all the above. Um, Heather Hawk, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you guys? Happy Sunday, gun day. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for making the time to call in. How is everything in Orange County? How is... Orange County gun owners doing? Uh, we're doing good. We survived the thunderstorms last night, which was nice. I missed <laughs> that from Ohio, so I, I enjoy them, but <laughs> get a little rain's good. Um, Orange County gun, gun owners doing really well. Uh, we're growing and growing each month. Um, so, I mean, we're hoping to get up as big as San Diego County gun owners here one day. So, um, you know, getting out there, getting getting the word out there about us and just, you know, getting more members, getting more people involved in the Second Amendment. Well, you guys are going the right direction. You guys are doing a fantastic job. You had your gun prom back in March, right? Uh, April. April. Yep, had, April. It, had it in mm-hmm. April. I was close. And uh, you guys are uh, uh, growing and doing shooting socials and doing tabletops and doing all kinds of stuff, doing all the right activities, have a great board, have a great executive director. There's no reason to not get involved and be successful. And you've now produced a really fantastic voter guide. Yes, we have. Yep, we got thirty six candidates on there. So thirty six. Um, I think you guys have the biggest voter out of San Diego, Inland Empire, and uh, Orange. I think you guys have uh, success. I think you guys have the most. I think you guys beat San Diego out. That's fantastic. Yeah, we were really excited about. It. I was excited about the number of um, questionnaires we got back too with people who were pro Second Amendment. So it's really refreshing to hear. You know, you hear a lot of negativity from California, and it's just it's nice and refreshing to hear candidates that are you know they've grown up with firearms they're they're very pro second amendment and they'll support our rights so so what do you, what is the environment generally in orange county when it comes to second amendment um it's it's a lot of it's kind of quiet and there's a lot of people who have firearms and i mean i i have no idea the exact number but so many people talk about it but it's under the rug like they they're afraid to talk about it out loud is what i've noticed and once they find someone, though, that is and spe- then speaks up, like I have a lot of friends that didn't know I was into firearms. And once they find out, they're like, oh, my gosh, you do. Why well, I have this. And I, I, you know, I go shooting here. And, you know, it's it's kind of there. There is it's like a silent majority that that isn't as active as it should be and, and as outspoken. So um, like a quiet culture, if that, if that's the best way to say it. And you're looking, of course, you're looking to change the, that quiet part. Yes, I'm not a quiet person, so. <laughs> You so, guys know I like to talk. So. I do, I do, absolutely. <laughs> so you guys, uh, tell me, tell me a little bit about the process. You got, you sent out. Talk, tell people about the process when you started a few months. You started, I think, you started in like July or or uh, Correct, yeah. uh, for the uh, for the November uh, um, for the November election. And you know, talk a little bit about the process. What are the steps you take to 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 whittle it down to thirty? I think you said thirty six. Yeah, so it starts out, um, we actually will look and reach out to city clerks, um, in, anywhere we can get information on who's running, mm-hmm. uh, and we'll, we'll kind of build a list. Um, I had to help one of our board members, Tom Kirk, he was very integral in helping me reach out to as many people as we could, and um, so we put together a spreadsheet by city, uh, I believe there's 34 cities and municipalities in Orange County, so there's quite a few, and uh, we tried to get everyone's emails, any kind of contact information we could and we sent out an email to them letting them know that we had a questionnaire for them to fill out and that's the first step for them to uh, be vetted 
uh, we aren't, we will send that to them. They have to fill it out and return it. So we know that they're, you know, they're serious about being endorsed. Uh, the questionnaire has great questions on there specific to the Second Amendment, uh, even, you know, to the points of, um, you know, CCWs, um, any any kind of laws that might come up that are in place, um, the assault weapons ban in California, so everything pertaining to that. And they fill that out and return it to us. Then I will reach out to them um, and have a one on one conversation with them, meetings, you know, talk to them more about what some of their answers are. Um, and at that point, some of the answers, you know, a lot of the times we'll get ones where they come back and they're, um, they're, they're they like guns, but, or yeah. they own guns, but, and there's all these, these extra little things. And that's where it starts to creep in where that person's not completely fully supportive of the second amendment. And then you look at, is that really what we want representing, you know, trying to get laws passed and things, cause they can, then maybe they're, they're also maybe not up to speed on what's going on um, in, with second amendment laws or things that are going on. So the, they're easily convinced on the other side. You know, they don't get all the facts. So those are things we look at and talk to them. It is and that, then, that, uh, that but really is an opportunity to, you know, either, either educate and they kind of go, oh, all right, yeah, I see, you know, and I'm with you philosophically. And now I get the details and I'm with you. Or it's an opportunity to, to separate the wheat from the chaff. You know, oh, okay, this person really doesn't agree with us. But yeah, that, correct. that but is, is the, when they show us their, their big butt, that's when, the, yeah. <laughs> That's when we go. All right, wait a minute. There's a problem there. Could be a problem. Yeah, so Kelly's laughing. We had a lot. Of, yeah, there was one I had. They had the. I. You know. I think all guns should be switched over to smart guns. And, I, and I'm like, that's um, <laughs> that's a very big task and not very good because <laughs> it's not reliable. Uh, but you know, there, there's things like that where, and some people you can you can talk to them and they understand, and others are like, well, no, that's just my feeling on it, and that's you know, that's your feeling. Yeah, you know, we we try to to educate, and that's one of our big proponents. Is you know we've got to educate people on firearms. Don't just listen to the media and what they're showing you. Right. Um, that's a lot of people who I mean, there were several candidates I talked to that you know had good conversations. They they just don't they don't know about firearms and they don't understand. And they they are pro Second Amendment. But when it comes to speaking up about it or talking about, it, they don't have those talking points or they don't. You know, they don't know anything about firearms, which is the same problem with the other side that's more anti-gun. They don't understand. They've never shot a gun half the time or, you know, they've been, not been around them. So they don't understand how useful they are. And if you can convince them to even come to the range with you and try something, you know, a lot of them realize they're they're not as scary as they're portrayed. <laughs> so who are you particularly proud of on your on your list? Who's a who's a standout uh, um, candidate or talk a little bit about some of the some of the individuals on the list? Um, there's a few. Uh, one of the, the bigger races that we have uh, is for OC supervisor, uh, Patricia Bates. Um, she's running in District 5 against Katrina Foley. And she, um, she's, very big, she's a pro, proponent of the Second Amendment. Um, she has been in office for several years. Um, so she's been a supervisor. She's been um, in the Senate and the Assembly in California. Um, she actually helped, uh, talking to her a little bit, she helped push CCWs in Orange County before we had pro sheriffs in place. Um, getting more people their CCWs, um, and I, I really, I, I took the opportunity when I was talking to her about um, her stance and everything with the conversation we have with Sheriff Barnes when he was at one of our meetings, um, monthly meetings. He was talking about how the supervisors that are currently there, you know, they they approve his budget and they approved everything in his budget last year except adding more people to the CCW team to help get people processed and approved. So I made sure I talked to her about that and mentioned that. And she was a gung ho all for making sure that gets approved, especially with the number of CCW applicants they have now coming through. You know, I, I love that when I hear people wanting their citizens armed. So, so if uh, you want to cut happy. the wait time down, if you want to help cut the wait time down to get your to get CCWs, and then uh, help help get Pat Bate elected, is that what I'm hearing? Correct. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. She, I, you know, she was at she was at gun prom, and she's definitely voted the right way when she had the opportunity. Um, when it comes to the Second Amendment, so that was. Uh, that was a that was an easy and, and good endorsement. I'm glad she's running. I'm glad that she reached out for an endorsement. Um, yeah. Who else do you like? Um, another one, um, Blair Stewart. It's Rodney Blair. He's in Brea City Council. Brea is there's a lot of pro two A people there, so it's great. And um, just that that kind of that city has a good Second Amendment mentality there. Um, uh, he is a firefighter. 
um, you know, very big into shooting, loads his own ammo and everything. Um, he is actually a 10 ring member for Orange County Gun Owners. Nice. Um, so very that's your highest level of membership for those uh, mm-hmm. who don't know. That's the highest level of membership in Orange County. The 10 ring member. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. What about? Do you have any? Do you have any folks that you endorsed who are running for office that that are that were you know they were active uh, members of Orange County Gun Owners and then they decided to run for office. Um, and Amy Van West, uh, she actually was on, she's on our, um, board. However, right now she stepped down just because she's being endorsed. Right. Um, but she, she she's an active for? member. Oh, All right. can what, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. What's Amy running oh. for? Um, she's running for Westminster city council district one. Nice. So she, she, um, you know, is very pro second amendment, um, strong supporter, uh, she actually was trying to get some of her other the local people who were running to fill out her questionnaire and everything that she she knew were interested in Second Amendment. Some Good. of them didn't didn't get it filled out in time, but <laughs> yeah. And then of course Danielle you know. Mills, right? She was ex- very active in Orange County Gun Owners, and she is a first time candidate. She's running for is it school board? Yeah, uh, Newport Mesa School Board. She's trustee area two. Um, and I know she's got her opponent is getting a lot of funding and support from, I believe, like Planned Parenthood and things. So she's, you know, they're very grassroots. They don't have a lot of funding. So she's asking for a lot of support. She's she's in it for the parents, you know, and you know, she's great, you know, proponent of the Second Amendment. Um, great sharpshooter, too. <laughs> she's <laughs> wonderful. Shoot, so. She and her husband both are absolutely wonderful. So to help Orange County get some folks elected, we need you to do a, a few things. Go to OrangeCountyGunOwners.com. Check out the list. Help somebody. Help more than one person who's endorsed. Join Orange County Gun Owners. Uh, go to their meetings. Help them walk neighborhoods and do all the things that we're going to do, that the candidates are going to do that uh, to, to get the right people elected. Uh, but definitely, definitely, definitely go to orangecountygunowners.com and become a member today. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.